Hello and welcome back to another round of combat mission, Rome to Victory. So this time I will actually do a little bit of a more long-term project, playing one of the two campaigns. Uh, this campaign is called Seleno and we're playing as the South Africans actually, so that's pretty interesting. Our mission, uh, penetrate the German defense and capture the village of Seleno before nightfall, taking this high ground will threaten German avenues of retreat, likely, likely forcing them to fall back to the northeast and allowing a rapid a uh, rapid allied northern advance on the highways. Um, we have an armored force of tanks, um, armored recce and motor infantry from the 6th Af South African Armored Division. It's June 10th, 1944. So uh, the whole D-Day thing is going on right now. Or, you know, not D-Day, that was four days ago, of course, but the Battle for Normandy, so nobody will read about this in the papers. So we have apparently a uh, Rhodesian squadron of tanks, including one Firefly. I don't know how many German tanks we'll be facing though. Um, some Stuarts, um, then a, then two companies of armored infantry, and uh, some support, yeah, machine guns and carriers. And we have a uh, half track, um, half track. Yeah, we have some all in half tracks, obviously, but um, we have support from artillery. We don't get any replacements, this all takes place um, over one day, I guess. And especially with the artillery ammunition, we have to be careful. The bulk of the enemy forces on the battlefield come from the German 356th Infantry Division. Although newly formed, the division has a backbone of experienced officers and NCOs and is at full strength. We have already encountered numerous AA and AT guns up to 88mm, as well as the occasional Panzer III and Panzer IV from the 26th Panzer Division. All right. So, basically the plan is, uh, we have to take Seleno, and as a first step we have to take some kind of railway crossing. And we are in the first scenario, which is called Choke Point. So, our goal is to secure a railway crossing here, as well as the creek bridge, and also, if possible, the high ground. Apparently there's a German defensive line running along here. Um, and uh, we will get most of our troops later. Let's look at the map. So, um, what I will do, I have one platoon of scouts. Okay, first of all, there's one destroyed tank here. And according to the briefing, this was knocked out by some kind of anti-tank gun or something right before the start of this mission. And it also helpfully says warning AT guns, which is like, yeah, well, duh. So obviously this here is their killing ground. I mean, we do have good sight from here, but it's way too dangerous to move tanks up here. We will um, get hit by by anti-tank guns. Now, it, it would be maybe possible to move tanks through here, but uh, that also seems risky. Now, if we look at um, the position here, obviously this is what we have to take with railway crossing. I don't know if this is actually, this might be uh, uncrossable by tanks. I actually should probably have uh, tried that out. But yeah, the railway crossing, obviously we have to take that and then probably off uh, or outside of our of our actual scenario, the pioneers will uh, clear this because it's destroyed. So this kind of bisects the map. It will probably be the um, first German line of defense. Now, where could any tank guns be? For one thing, obviously, to knock out a tank, probably not directly behind it, but maybe there's anti tank guns um, uh, in this orchard would be a prime position. Well, actually, there's a. Maybe they are. Uh, maybe they are on top of this. I would be pretty exposed for an anti tank gun. Now, no, the point I'm making is that um, I will try to, uh, and I might probably lose a few stewards doing that, but the stewards will move along here and then down here, because this seems to be relatively covered up until this point. Then uh, we would see if there's Germans up on this hill, or maybe uh, in this line, which is also prime candidate for a German position. Yeah, so there could be anti-tank guns here. Uh, could be anti-tank guns um, here. I mean, this looks like a good position for one. And then, of course, there will probably be some behind uh, in the tree line in like a reverse slope. To 
to ambush us, or at least that's kind of what I um, assume. Although, of course, the high ground is also a decent enough position. From here, they could also have destroyed our tank, is my point. Now, as I said, I will first drive the stewards uh, in a hook down here, then follow up with the Sherman tanks, and then, you know, scout ahead through this um, covered area here, because that seems to be a good approach road. While I'm doing this, I also put one scout team with binoculars as well as the forward observer for my artillery in this orchard and they will move through this carefully and then uh, establish themselves here in this covered area and I hope that from there I can assign artillery to anything that I might see. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. up a lot of dust, which maybe the Germans will uh, use to, to see where we are coming from. Didn't take any fire from down there. I might just mount some of the infantry, go into this orchard, uh, not orchard, the forest area here. So far this route seems to be relatively safe. Now this is too thick for vehicles to cross, but I can cross over there and here. So I'm gonna drive the Stuart Recky across there and here just to see if we're, get, uh, if we're under fire from anything. And then if we get under fire we will um, obviously lose the Stuart, but hopefully we can bombard that then. And then later attack with our infantry and our tanks across this route. Somewhere here are our recce troops. Well, somewhere. And uh, of course we have a further in this tree line. I think this is from where we will launch our attack on the crossing. Alternatively, what we could also do with our infantry is a, uh, attack across here. Because this is also fairly covered, but we can't 
like support them with any vehicle, but we can do that with like a secondary force. This also made it down here, nice. So far no Germans have hopped up, but down here of course it's getting kind of risky. Over there is the railroad crossing. We actually don't have a lot of time. So let's see if we can cross here, I think we can. I told them to go slow so there's not a as big a chance of them ditching the vehicle. Then if we're on the other side, let's see if they open up on us from here. If not, then this is the perfect staging area. And I will tell these guys to dismount, uh, advance across uh, around the corner here and then along the road just to see when we make contact. Okay, here's my scout team. It's too bad that without them the 50 cal isn't manned, but oh well. So far no German resistance here. Other one has also reached here, the scout team is dismounting. Tanks are also approaching. Okay, apparently the 50 cal is active. We have spotted Germans over there. And that's German rifle fire, that's a German machine gun. Okay. So apparently there were Germans in or around uh, this building. Okay. Kind of worried about having sent these guys out into the uh, open now. Since there's no anti-tank fire though, I would move the Shermans through the gap as well and then they can have uh, 75mm support. There was a shot coming, I think, from over there. Alright, uh, came from over there somewhere. There seem to be like single sniper shots though. That sounded fairly close, weirdly. Problem is these guys are green, so they are pinned quickly and they don't spot as well, I think. Yeah, that's from that building, obviously. So, well, guess what's gonna get nuked by the tanks once they are here? I hope that was silent that position if it indeed was one. That being said, uh, I think these poor buggers here uh, will have to move a bit just to draw more fire. Although, of course, the, the main assault is still coming. Uh, don't see any more fire for now. So, how are you doing? Okay. Of course they're out of contact because I don't have a radio and I left the uh, platoon HQ as an observer on top of the hill. But yeah, they will have to move forward and bounce and see if any more Germans open up. So the tanks to fire some HE into the general direction of the Germans. That was an was a short round. Next uh, minute, 
or well at the end of next minute I think we will get our reinforcement and then we can move them down here and get ready to do an actual assault across this ground. For now we're just probing hoping that the Germans will open up so we can um, you know shell them. That being said, I have already uh, called in an RT strike on here. Of course, I have to be a bit careful with the RT ammunition, but I actually have quite a bit of artillery. As I had anticipated, uh, the first wave has arrived, meaning a bunch of tanks and a company of infantry. Uh, I will move these um, in column down to this area here, and then launch my attack. And probing forward slowly here as well. machine gun nest over there. Probably can suppress that with a steward. That's the first spotting round from our um, artillery. And it was actually pretty close to where I was aiming, so I think it will come in relatively soon. These guys are suppressed, huh? Okay, um, I will move up the Shermans and bombard this tree line. Oh, you know, that would have been useful a few seconds ago. That being said, I am already bombarding that general area, so it's probably fine. Trees in the way though. But okay, we have uh, any tank gun maybe there? Probably an anti-tank gun. And infantry over there somewhere. Yes. Okay, that's good. Tanks are here. That one went wide. That's a weird position. Seems fairly exposed once you're spotted. Yeah, but it's actually hard to hit, especially with HE. 
No, that's a bit better. I think we're getting close to it. I think this position is probably destroyed. I think we've got basically a direct hit. Now over here, just to give you an overview, more of my reinforcement side advancing. And soon we can start the main assault, obviously in the next video. But I think we're gonna do one more minute. These guys are panicked and I can't control them, sadly. Uh, yeah, they ran into exactly the wrong direction. There's a lot of fire coming from here, actually. Maybe out of the building or the stone wall. And they're dead, well... Oh, and false. Nope, I think we've got some nice hits on these dudes, so maybe they will uh, abandon that position. I did call in some artillery on here as well, but that will take a while to get in. Anyway, next video, we will finally be able to properly attack because our infantry is here. The first platoon is crossing right now, a second one is um, coming shortly behind them. This is the mortar carrier. So, um... With these, we will hopefully be able to uh, push into the first objective. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.